G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's an interesting algebra question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. The average value of all the pennies, nickels, dimes and quarters in Paula's purse is 20 cents. Hang on, that's right. So we've got a whole bunch of pennies, nickels, dimes and quarters and the average value is 20. All right. If she had one more quarter, the average value would be 21 cents. That's interesting. How many dimes does she have in her purse? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this, actually this is curious. The, the 20 cents and 21 cents seem awfully low to me for a whole bunch of coins in one's purse. And adding one more quarter, which is worth a lot, increases the average amount by one cent, from 20 to 21 cents. This just feels odd to me. All right, but, but it feels manageable. I mean, let's engage in successful flailing, strategy number one. Let's just do some stuff that seems reasonable for the question. Um, I guess it feels algebraic to me. So let P be the number of pennies, N the number of nickels, D the number of dimes, and Q the number of quarters that she has in her purse right now. And uh, let's see, so the number of pennies, number of dimes, and nickels, number of dimes, number of quarters. So if I add those all up, that's the total number of coins in her purse. Oops, terrible handwriting. I'm glad it's only me reading this right now. Um, and then, what else could I do? The average value of these coins is 20 cents right now. Well, pennies are worth one, nickels are worth five, dimes are worth 10, quarters are worth 25. So one for the pennies and five for the nickels and 10 for the dimes and 25 for the quarters equals the total um, amount of money. I'll do that for now. So total number of coins is given by this, total amount of money is given by that, and the average value, total amount she's got in her purse, divided by how many coins she has, is 20. So I could write down this glorious equation, uh, P plus 5N plus 10Q, uh, D, sorry, plus 25Q, all divided by a total number of coins, is 20. All right. Then she adds, uh, was it one more quarter, and this number becomes 21. So add one more quarter, and this number becomes 21. So P plus 5N plus 10D plus 25Q plus 1 now is P plus N plus D plus Q plus one more quarter is 21. Okay, maybe algebra is not the best way to do this. It's looking pretty ghastly right now. Um, what was the question? Hang on. How many dimes does she have in her purse? So what's the value of D? So right now we've got two pretty horrendous looking equations in four unknowns. And we want to get the value of D? Oh, crazy. Um, all right. Well, it seems appropriate to me to multiply this top equation through by the bottom line. So this top line would equal 20 times that bottom line. And this top line, which is very similar to that one, it just differs by, uh, what, 25? it would be 21 times that bottom line. Actually, those two equations are very, very similar. I bet if you did multiply through by the denominator of each and just you know, cancel all the terms that you could, there is really good hope that some information come out of those equations. In fact, if this question was given to us, there must be a way to get at, N, get at D from this. So try it, try it. Try multiplying through by the denominator in each equation, try doing all the cancellations you can, and see how nice it is. And see if you can actually work on what just D has to be. There's got to be a way to do it. I'm actually feeling a bit hopeful now, despite the visual mess of this. Give it a go. And when you've got an answer, check the answer that goes, in the essay, that goes with the essay in this video. We, you know, I'll do it too, and we'll see where we get. Cool, good stuff. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.